My goal is to have all those sweatshirts off your body very quickly today. <laughs> that is, if I had a goal for this class, it's, it's hot, sweaty, and sticky. Um, so I know we have at least one more person joining in and that's my fault. I sent the code a little late, but um, class is different today, okay? And this is coming, remember I asked for some feedback from you guys about like what we needed, what we wanted. And I got the feedback that people just said, like in general, like we're going into a year of like, right? Ali, Didem, everything. It's like a year since Columbia, right? Like we've been doing these Zoom calls for a long time and I got some feedback that people are just bored, right? Like just straight up, like looking for, for some, some fresh stuff. So some different movement. Um, so this is gonna be kind of my interpretation of break the boredom. So that means you're gonna be facing the top of the mat. You're gonna be facing the back of your mat. It's gonna be kind of wonky. Don't look for perfection. Just look for maybe some new transitions, some new movements to kind of break out of um, what we always typically do. And then also saying that there is no sun A's, there's no sun B's, there's no seated part of practice, there's no standing part of practice, it's all intertwined. So be prepared to sit down, be prepared to come back up. It's going to be kind of taking um, all of these proper sequencing rules, let's say, and throwing them out the window just to give us kind of like a, a fresh taste. But because doing new transitions can be kind of I'll even go with the word frustrating. We're going to do everything twice, okay? So the first time you might be like, whoa, that was confusing. But then the second time you may be able to um, kind of explore that with more depth. When I, do two, when I do a practice twice, I actually like it. My first time I go in at about 50 to 60%. And then the second time I do it, I go full out, teacher mode as far as I can go into it, okay? So you're gonna go, you have three sets. We're going two times through each set. Deep breathing should be a strong practice. Downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, in, X. So I think of the breath like layering. Let each breath take you a layer deeper so when i start practice with a very strong connection to silence stillness infusing the practice with my ujjayi breath no matter what it gets deep it gets strong quickly and then before we begin to move, this class is not about your precision and alignment. It is about aligning yourself with your purpose. Why did you step on your mat? Why are you here? What are you looking to create? Knees to the mat, tabletop. From tabletop, right foot steps forward up in between your hands and lift to rise 90-90 lunge, right? And that's the feeling of the tailbone scooping forward. Take your left tricep outside edge of your right knee. Maybe it's the fingertips. Maybe it's the palm reaching down towards the outside edge of your right foot. Right hand comes back behind you. Plant the palm flat on your sacrum and see if you can breathe down into the base of your spine. Can you actually literally feel your sacrum widening and feeling spacious as you lengthen the chest away from the back of the hips. Inhale. So that tactile awareness of what's happening in your body. And then release both fingertips to the top of the mat. Lift your back, left knee, low lunge. 
from your low lunge, parallel your feet to the left side of your mat. Grab your big toes, yogic toe lock. Inhale, open, look forward and up. Exhale, bend elbows and fold in. So if we've got this kind of exploratory purpose in the first round, look to see where you're holding tightness. Look at, and I really learned this a lot from Yasmin actually, like look at the speed of your thoughts today, right? Are your thoughts fast? Are your thoughts slow? Use your breath to help ground and slow you down. Pull up on the toes, lift up through the sitting bones, explore the stretch through the backs of your legs. Look forward and lengthen half flat back. Fingertips come to the mat. Skandasana, back of your mat, out over your left knee. Right toes turn up. It's exploratory at first. Walk your fingertips forward and bow in. How much of a cat-like action can we get through the spine? So that means flexing your low back, mid back, and upper back. Today, this class is going to probably, some pose is going to bug you, right? Something that we do is not gonna be something that you like, right? So you can practice, right? Getting rid of those preferences, holding steady, connecting with breath. Release, turn to the top of your mat, low lunge, step back, downward facing dog. Keeping your right hand planted, Left hand outside edge of right knee, calf, or ankle, coming into a twisted downward facing dog. Using it as a place to integrate the right shoulder blade onto your upper back. Everybody who is there for, two, or for Friday's basics class, right shoulder blade is integrated. Bring your chin to your left shoulder. Turn and look out over your left shoulder as you stretch through the right side of your neck. Sitting bones are lifting and spreading. Plant, left hand, downward facing dog. Inhale, deep breathing. Long and slow, take your knees to the mat, tabletop. Step, left foot forward up in between your hands, lift to rise, 90-90 lunge, tailbone is curling forward. Right tricep, outside edge of left knee, right fingertips down to begin, maybe the palm, it depends. Left hand at your sacrum, okay? Yep, so as deep as you need, as modified as you need. Okay, so today's class, I'm gonna try not to be too much of a drill sergeant, but I'm not gonna get like super esoteric. There's not a lot. Connect to your purpose. Be specific in what you're trying to get out of the practice. Find your twist here. Inhale. Exhale, fingertips come down to the mat, top of your mat, lift the back knee, low lunge. Turn to the right side, parallel your feet, rise to fingertips. So second round in, maybe the pubic bone pulls back more through your inner thighs. Grab your big toes, fold in, please. Prasarita, Padottanasana, D variation. Keep a, a breath, keep a width across your upper back in the front of your chest as you bow in. So the second time, explore the opening through the backs of the knees, up through the sitting bones. Maybe the top of the head starts to drop deeper down towards the floor. Find a connection there. Lengthen half flat back. Skandasana, back of your mat. Right knee bends, left toes turn open, drop your hips. Crawl your fingertips forward, bow on the insides of your thighs. So whenever I'm doing skandasana in this type of a pace, I think to really press to the pinky edge side of my right foot. Let that right knee widen open as you flex your spine, think cat pose. Walk your hands underneath your shoulders, pivot turn, top of your mat, low lunge, step back, downward facing dog. There are no sun salutations, you guys, so use your breath to help you to warm up. Right hand, outside edge of left calf or ankle, twist. So it's an arm balance there in your left arm as it gets stronger, snuggle the left shoulder blade on your upper back and then take your chin to your right shoulder. Look over your right shoulder and feel the left side of your neck deep into the top of that trapezius. Stretch, open, right hand to the mat. Downward facing dog, inhale. Exhale, knees to the mat, table, top. Right foot steps forward, lift to rise, 90-90 lunge, curling the tailbone forward. 
same thing or some of you if you're ready to thread the left arm under you could try for the bind so i'm always going to show what you can do and then the modification left fingertips down right arm up that is another viable option keep wrapping those left ribs under towards your inner right thigh keep rolling your right ribs open fingertips to the mat low lunge pull the chest open here inhale pivot turn left side of your mat parallel your feet left hand plants underneath your left shoulder right arm up twist towards the top of your mat hips stay stable so you should be able to balance something on your sacrum right arm wraps around can you grab your upper thigh and then like a corkscrew like twisting off a cap on a water bottle try to twist your ribs and chest open as you look over that top right shoulder good how are the legs are they toned are they active so this is your second time explore going a little bit deeper fingertips to the mat skandasana deeply bend into your left knee crawl your fingertips on that diagonal in between your legs bow down and in, in control through the sacrum turning the tailbone forward lift lower abdominals so this is the third set right so a little deeper walk your fingertips forward turn top of your mat low lunge scissor it back downward facing dog left hand outside edge right calf heel so second time maybe i started at the calf now i'm going to try to go to the ankle if you're at the ankle try to grab the heel twist turn your chest as much to the right as you can and then turn your head to the left in the opposite direction especially pull up and back through that right sitting bone as you stretch long through right side body left hand to the mat downward facing dog how's your breath how's your purpose knees to the mat table top be specific left foot steps forward lift to rise 90 90 lunge inhale side ribs pull back side waistline pulls back right tricep outside edge full bind possibly for those of you who are waking up on the east coast that sounds like a terrible idea right so it's just then left arm up explore into your upper back one inhale exhale to you're going to have another opportunity to bind later in class so let's see if the practice helps to open fingertips to the mat unwind low lunge pivot turn right side of your mat sitting bones are bright stay light in your toes right hand plants left arm up turn towards the top of your mat twist and then top arm can come around for that half bind rolling the shoulders open so for those of you right we were in basics class a lot of us together it's that retraction of your shoulder blades snuggling your shoulder blades onto your upper back to open your chest release turn to the back of your mat skandasana drop in okay so right like we're not just going to do like a different section of seated poses today you start to get your inner thighs start to stretch through the inner seam of that left pant leg drop the head bow down and in and then release pivot turn top of your mat low lunge step it back downward facing dog find your foundation growing the hips up and back right hand please grab the outside of right or left knee calf ankle find the twist nicely pack turn as much as you can you guys to the left first through the ribs and then rotate the head to the right rinse out the entire spine plant the palm downward facing dog so when i'm like very specific in these like command like actions right practice can get a little bit like it can seem a little bit hard verbally so check in at your down dog make sure you soften you can you can be specific without being hard keep a gentleness as you inhale shift forward to flow shoulders over wrist plank pose bend elbows please using your triceps focus on retraction as you inhale lift up find your up dog lift your hips downward facing dog right foot steps forward up in between your hands lunge 
back, left knee down to the mat, lift to rise, 90-90. So we're into another flow. You're going to change it up and you're going to explore. Left hand reaching back towards your left heel. So it's kind of like a half camel pose. Right hand holds the back of your head. And then this is where you start to explore, shifting the hips forward. So mine only move about a centimeter forward and down, but I've got a big back bend happening here as I explore curling the tailbone forward and opening the chest. Shift it back up to center, plant your palms, press back, downward facing dog, neutralize your spine. Inhale. Exhale, knees to the mat, tabletop. Left foot steps forward. 90, 90 lunge, lift to rise. Good, right arm circles back, chest stays open, reaching back for the heel. Lots of hips forward. I like to hold the back of the head and then explore, right? So mine does not start very deep today. It's down and forward with the hips moving more towards an anjaneyasana as you turn your belly button and heart up towards the ceiling. Hands to the mat, plant the palms. Downward facing dog, shift it up and back, be specific, stretch the spine and then find your flow, find your softness. Inhale, forward plank, biceps forward, use the triceps, chaturanga. Inhale, please pull forward, up dog, check in with the spine, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Right foot steps forward up in between your hands, lunge. This time it's a little bit longer, back left knee down. So I'm more like in an anjaneyasana. Arms up so my hips can sink forward and down more. Now explore, where does that left hand land? Can it land at the calf, the Achilles tendon? Some of you, maybe it's the heel stretching all the way back, hold the back of the head, and then bend deep into that front right knee as you open, squeeze, inhale. Exhale, try not to slingshot it, move with control. Plant the palms, and so we neutralize the spine in between these big twisting back bends. Inhale, thigh bones, press back. Exhale, left foot steps forward up in between your hands. So you just kind of ask yourself, is it slowly opening? Back right knee down, more like an anjaneyasana legs, arms up first, hips forward and down, ribs up and back. And then my right arm explores, right? So first thing this morning, I was only touching the calf. Then I was able to walk to the Achilles tendon. Then I was actually able to get the fingertips onto the heel, support your head, you guys. Don't over strain your neck. As you back bend open, can you sink lower into the hip? Plant the palms. Excellent focus, downward facing dog. Slow, steady and strong, inhale, shift forward into plank. Exhale, bend elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, pull forward, up dog. Lift your hips, downward facing dog. Pigeon pose, as much as you can, right shin bone, parallel across the top of your mat. Right, so everything's incorporated here today on fingertips, knife through the pinky edge side of your right foot, walk your fingertips back. Can you guys hold your mat, hold the long edges of your mat and pull your mat open, left, right, left, right, popping the chest open here. Good, shoulder blades are in retraction and then you ripple your way forward. Pour in, out over your front right leg. Release across your low back and sacrum. Okay, so this is the first time getting into those external rotators of the hip. Notice the change. Walk the hands up underneath your shoulders. Plank, pose. Dial in. Side body, obliques, front back, left, right, pull in, chaturanga. Inhale, push from the toes, lift the heart, you guys. Hips forward and down, heart up and back. Downward facing dog, like what I'm seeing, nice focus. Bring left shin parallel as much as you can across the top of your mat, right? And so maybe when we do the second round, it'll be a little bit deeper. I continue to try to turn my right kneecap to the left, right? Internally spiraling that back leg chest is up. This is pigeon pose, right? The big open chest like a pigeon. 
And then you walk your fingertips up and use the mat if you want to, right? Use the mat, pull, lean open to try to spread your inner shoulders and chest. Inhale. So you try not to slingshot, just let it pour forward, bowing over your front left leg. Right, for those of you in cold spaces, use your ujjayi breath, your victorious breath to warm you from the inside out. Press it up, plank, pose, stabilize, squeeze the inner thigh. Those of you who took that pillow talk class, that yoga conditioning, you remember squeezing the pillow in between the feet. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, pull forward, toning to the midline, hips down and forward, heart up and back. Downward facing dog. Yep. Melting into the upper back, right shin parallel across the top of your mat. Pigeon pose. Maybe the right foot scoots a little bit higher. Fingertips back. Open the front body, reach back, arch back. Good. That's called external rotation in your arms, you guys. Biceps are turning out. Triceps are facing towards one another. Okay. Second time you walk forward. Right fingertips reaching off the top of your mat. Left arm, scoop it under. Can you bring your left ear, your left shoulder down onto the mat as you reach to the right? As you reach to the right, the right fingertips walk forward. Stretch into the front of the room wherever you are. Pulling your right hip back in the opposite direction. Drop in, melt in, get a little bit flatter. Walk it back. Plank, pose, push the floor. Pause, that's your inhale, gazes forward. Shift the weight, tricep push up, chaturanga. Pull it forward, find the tops of your feet, dragging the back of the mat to the front of the heart. Lift up, downward facing dog, roll over toes. Inhale. Exhale, left shin parallel, top of the mat as much as you can. Squeeze your inner thighs, roll the tops of the thighs towards one another as you drop down, full pigeon, right? So pigeon is actually a back bend. Turning your right hip forward. Good, press your inner left knee down to your outer left knee. Use your left shin bone pressing into the floor to give you more power to open. Shift forward, walk your left fingertips forward halfway. Right hand slides under, palm is open, drop in. Right ear, right shoulder. Left fingertips, can you crawl them forward to the top of your room, stretching forward? One. I even press the back of my right hand and the back of my right shoulder more into the mat to try to twist from that leverage. Walk it back. Plank. So, so instead of a bunch of sun A's and sun B's, there you go. You should be getting warmer. Jesus forward. Here we go, you guys. Bend your elbows. Inhale, pull forward, up dog. Lift your hips. Downward facing dog. So I did name this class Double Trouble. Everything two times. Notice what gives you trouble. Is it more of a physical thing or a mental thing? Right foot forward, up in between your hands, lunge. Left heel spins the flat, warrior one, okay. So we're into, that was 20 minutes, you guys. That was our first set. Here we go, our second set. It's gonna maybe take you a little bit to learn it. That's fine, you have time. Right sitting bone slides forward towards your inner right knee to deepen your pose. The screen did not freeze. We did not lose volume. Just hold. Come on in, 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 in. Fingertips to the mats. Low lunge. From your low lunge, left knee down. Stay low into your hips, sinking crescent lunge. Arms up, Anjaneyasana. Can you be any deeper as you open your left arm back? Good. Right arm reaches back this time. Bright through the fingertips. It is okay if you're turning open slightly to the left side of your mat. Inhale, exhale, sweep it forward, stay with me. Fingertips are on the mat. Right leg straightens, 
Arda Hanuman, but toes down today, you guys. I always tell you to flex your foot. Keep your toes down. It's going to give you a different stretch. And then walk your fingertips forward. So a little bit of today's class is like pose, counter pose. You just went from a back bend. Now let this be that strong kind of cat pose, that posterior tilt. Flexion through your spine and explore. So all the weight is almost on the pinky edge side of my right foot, which is wrong. I wanna see if I can press more down. Well, not wrong, just not as deep as I can go. Press down through the root of your right big toe. Good, bend your right knee, walk your hands in. Shoot, right leg back, one-legged tabletop. Nice, good, look forward, good job, Claire. Bend your right knee. Left arm reaches back, grab your right ankle. Okay, I come into the pose first in what I call the general form of the pose. I just kind of see what feels sticky, what feels crunchy, then I back off a little bit. I snuggle my shoulders, I get more in control of my tailbone, and then I power back up in again, double trouble. Find it, open, look up you guys, pull the chest forward, good. Kick up and back someday, I would love it if that leg could straighten. And release, left hand to the mat, right foot steps forward in between your hands, right shoulder, inside edge of right knee, right hand plant, pinky edge side of right foot, turn your left toes parallel across the back of your mat, grab the pinky edge side of your right foot, Arda Visvamitrasana, I know the first time it can be sticky, if you have a strap, you hold the foot. If you don't have a strap, you just try to straighten the leg actively. Inhale, exhale, plant the foot, plant both hands inside edge of your right foot, pause. Let's make sure we're all here. Look at your right foot, push your right foot away from you, coming down into a half frog in your left leg, half, Virasana, right leg is straight. Tuck your right shoulder in, right elbow inside edge of right knee. Okay, so this is what I meant about practice today, you guys. There's no specific standing section. There's no specific seated section. If I was in the room next to you, or with you, I would put my foot on your left hip, the left hip crease and press it down into the floor as you try to reach up and over. Excellent, lift back up to center. Square yourself between your inner knees. Left sitting bone drops. Walk it forward on the diagonal. Bow in. Right leg is extending out to the side. Left leg is Arda Virasana. Three. Two. One, walk your hands underneath your shoulders. Table top position. Turn back of your mat. Butt should be maybe facing the camera, opposite direction, downward facing dog. Good, inhale forward, plank. Exhale, bend elbows, chaturanga towards the back of your mat. Inhale, open. Hips lift, downward facing dog. Reconnect with the breath. So. We're doing right, left, right, left. So the right side is done. First round, left foot steps between your hands. Ground your back, right heel, lift to rise, warrior one. Yep, you're there. Right, and maybe as you kind of learn where we're going, right, you can kind of let go of the, the control and instead explore your edge, warrior one. Really nice, you guys. Yep, good, Blair, popping the heart open. Fingertips to the mat. Low lunge as you drop your back right knee. Crescent lunge, arms up, Anjaneyasana. Find your Anjaneyasana, circling your right hand back, reaching for the right heel, the Achilles tendon. Wow, really good, you guys. So as you've been moving through class, is it deeper? Yep, exactly, your pec hips moving forward and down. Perfect, big back bend. Fingertips come to the mat. Straighten the front left leg, Arda Hanuman, but with the toe pointed. 
Yeah, walk your fingertips off the back of your mat, bowing in. So pose, counter pose. Counter that work by rounding in. How straight can you make that left leg? But keep the left big toe mound grounded down. Just so you know, I actually can't. In case you're curious about what's going on in your body, walk your hands underneath your shoulders. Bend your left knee, left shoulder inside edge of left knee, plant the hand outside edge of your left foot. Right shin bone spins across, Arda. This bomb, Matrasana, hold the pinky edge. Even if you can't hold the pinky edge, right? You work the leg to straight, squeeze and through the quadricep to open. Yeah, let's go, you guys. Put some power in there. Release. Plant the hands inside edge of left foot. Pause. Here we go. Look at your left foot. Press it off the back of your mat. Landing in to Supta Virasana, right leg. Left leg extends, left elbow inside edge. Stretch the side body. Good. Okay, so in all honesty, my right sitting bone does lift up a little, but I'm working to the best of my ability to keep my right sitting bone anchored. As you come into this open twist, pull the chin away from the chest. Good, maybe squeezing through your right tricep to make your right arm straighter. Lift, back up to center. See if by coming to center now, you can wiggle both sitting bones to the mat anchored. Walk it forward, bow in. So this class is actually a lot of hip opening and deep back bending. One, inhale, exhale, two. Hands underneath your shoulders, walk it back in. Tabletop position, turn it forward. Top of your mat, tuck your toes. Downward facing dog. Set one, done. Inhale forward plank, clear it out. Bend elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, please pull forward, up dog. And you guys, I wrote this series that week I was sick in bed, so. There you go, downer facing dog. I was looking for something new, something different. Wiggle the hip, shake out the head. Right foot steps forward up in between your hands, lunge. Left heel spins the flat. Warrior one. So when I do these kind of like double trouble classes, personally for myself, I think first round was like my student. I was kind of learning it. And then the second round, if the first one was 50%, 60%, this round is, 80%, 90% as you try to use the heat, you use the opening. Fingertips of the mat. Low lunge, back left knee down. Hips down and forward. Ribs, arms up and back. Anjane Asana, continue to circle that left hand back. Did it change from the very beginning of class? Right fingertips are bright and open, sweeping really nice. Push from left shoulder into your left foot. Fingertips to the mat, yogi's choice, Arda Hanuman or full Hanuman. Student teacher, maybe one side is easier than the other side. Good, don't look for alignment in the body. I'm not so much caring about that today. Just go into it. Try not to hold yourself back. Press up, bend the knee, preparing. Extend, I forgot this, right leg back, bend the knee, grab the ankle, find your back bend. I'm sure you're all really upset, I forgot this on that side. Squeeze the butt muscles, lift the heart, at least you have some smiling, good, up and back, press, step, right foot forward, in between the hands, now prepare, Arda, this Vamatrasana, also put your arm balances right into the middle of your class. Right shoulder tucks, make a little shelf by bending your right elbow. Left toes come across, hold the pinky edge side open. And I'm not gonna hold the pinky edge side and I'm just gonna show that it can very, very much be done just by strengthening very active push, pull to open. Nice, plant the foot, release both hands inside edge of right foot. 
I look at my right foot and I slide that right foot open as you drop sitting bones to the mat. Maybe you adjust the left foot, tuck it in. Right elbow, inside edge. Okay, so Pavrita, it's called Pavrita, which means twisted, Janu Shirsasana. Right, and even that, the variation, it's an open twist as you try to turn your left ribs away from your inner right knee. Okay, so that's the last time you see it on the right side. Is there any place that you wanna open that you wanna explore, right? Try not to be bored within these poses. Look for something fresh. Come back up to center, ground your sitting bones. Inhale here, right down the midline. Walk it forward, bow in. Okay, so some of you, it's easier to tip the hips forward, right? Some of you need a little bit of posterior tilt. So do you even know which one, right, stretches you more? Which type of opening do you need? Think anterior tilt, like cow pose. Think posterior tilt, like cat pose. Explore that as you walk your hands underneath your shoulders. Step it in, tabletop. Not my most fancy transition, but it works. Back of your mat. Downward facing dog. You did three sets. Last one. Inhale, forward plank. Bend your elbows, chaturanga. How are the hips feeling, you guys, right? They should be kind of getting warm, feeling a little bit lighter as you pop into your upward facing dog. Nice hips, up and back. Downward facing dog. Left foot steps between the hands, lunge. Right heel spins to flat. High lunge, warrior one. I like it so when I look in the camera, I see some of you like checking your sacrum, right? Checking the hips, find that neutral alignment in the pelvis as you reach up and out. Fingertips down, low lunge. This is your last time exploring this. Right knee down, hips press forward, Anjane Asana. Right arm continues to circle back towards your right calf, Achilles tendon, heel kind of curl those right fingertips down and open, 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 right through the left fingertips. Stretch all the way like you're gonna reach towards the back of your mat. Plant your palms. Pull the hips up and back. Your choice, Arda Hanuman. Maybe the toe stays pointed today or full Hanuman Asana. Let's keep the chest up and bright. One. Inhale. Little different perspective. Maybe some of you looking at the back of the room. You're always looking at the front of the room. So changing up a little. Inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades, retraction. Good. Try to move out smoothly. Drag your left foot back. Tabletop, right le left leg shoots back. So that one-legged tabletop. Bend your left knee, reach back with right hand. Find general form of the back bend. Back off a little. And then try again. Nice, see them kick up and back. Everybody, I drive through the heel. Like I'm trying to step the right heel up on the ceiling. Release, right hand to the mat, left foot steps through, Arda Visvam Matrasana, left shoulder under, tuck, plant your left palm, take your time, right shin spins perpendicular, pinky edge side, so you guys, this is a lot of hips, and we are going to move into that flash dance pose on our next cycle through, so think about squeezing the butt muscles, press your hips more towards the left side of your mat, and release, foot down. Both hands inside edge. Extend left leg. Can it stretch wider on this last time? Maybe you tuck your right foot in. Sitting bones down. Pavrita, Janusher, Shasana variation. So knowing the difference between an open twist, right? Turning away from that inner left knee. What does that do? Good. And then come back 
up to center. Yeah, Blair, I like you kind of backing out and coming back in. Sometimes that helps as we come to center. Last time, walk it forward. Bow on the inside. Spinning your inner thighs down towards the floor. Okay, so you guys know, I say it so many times, your hands have two purposes. One, it's to push your hips down and back. It's another to pull your chest forward. Let's stretch that out. Breathe in. Get it while you can. Walk your hands underneath your shoulders. Tabletop position. Pivot turn, top of your mat. Facing your original starting position, tuck toes, downward facing dog. Hey guys, that's 40 minutes. So our first round took 20, second round took 20. We have one more round. Inhale, forward plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, please, urdhva. Lift your hips. Downward facing dog. Right leg lifts up and back. Bend the knee, open the hip. I've been calling this scorpion tail lately, right? I want you to think of it like a scorpion. Like it's gonna, your right toes are gonna touch the crown of your head as you back bend and open here. Step, right foot forward between your hands. Lunge, lift to rise, high lunge. So just because you're holding doesn't mean it becomes completely static, right? My first few breaths, I kind of feel where I am. But my third, my fourth, my fifth breath, it's like a Polaroid picture developing. What's your fullest expression of the pose? Now, as you reach up, please lower your back. Left knee down onto the mat. Take the twist. Left tricep, outside edge of right knee. Your hands can come in prayer. You can open up. The second time we're gonna bind you guys. Don't feel the need you have to bind this time and lift the back. Knee, one, finish rotating, finish cleansing out, finish twisting into your upper back, two. Inhale, so I want it strong in the legs, you guys, really powerful. There's not a lot of standing poses today. Hands to the mat, low lunge, right leg sweeps up and back, three legged down dog. Bend the knee, open the hip, scorpion the tail, flip your dog, right toes drop open, hips turn. Okay, so I do all different types of things with that right hand. Sometimes I hold the head, sometimes I'll hold the heart. Lately, I've been taking the arm up overhead into like the top part of a gomu kasana arm. So getting a little bit more tricep stretch. Keep right leg lifted. Three-legged down dog as you plant your right hand. Good. Right knee draws in towards your chest. Fallen triangle. Heel drops to the right. Kick your right leg out. Can you guys grab the pinky edge side of your right foot? Or you could just keep it floating. Or you could open it up into a vis vom matrasana variation three beautiful two squeeze your inner thighs bend your right knee come down to seated right knees in left leg extends take a twist so good left hand outside edge of right knee all right both sitting bones are grounded good yeah exactly up oh, apex stay there stay where you were okay because you're gonna come into, now it's that flash dance pose, you guys. Plant your back hand, lift your hips, and arch up and over. Good, so today I'm on fingertips. I'm on fingertips so I can be a little bit higher, and my goal for myself is to be able to come into wheel in my upper back from here. So think about going there, maybe by next week, you guys. Good, okay. Come back to center, sit back down. It's not going to be perfect. Step your right foot into the mat. I'm kind of facing the back corner. Left elbow, outside edge of right knee. Marichi Asana, C. One. Inhale. Exhale for two. 
Good, use the back fingertips as a kickstand, rotate. The second time we're gonna take the bind. This time we're gonna flex the foot, grab your pinky edge side of your right foot with your left hand, straighten your right leg, float your right arm. If you want more balance challenge, can you lift your left leg? Nice, Yasmin, good. Set your left leg down, scissor to the back of your mat. Feet together, facing the back of your mat. Bend your knees, plant your hands. Chaturanga, vinyasa. Hit the reset button. Let's go, inhale, heart up. So just moving around your mat today. No warrior two, it's not a lot of the typical stuff that we do. A little more seated than usual. Hmm. Left leg lifts, three-legged, down dog, bend the knee, scorpion the tail. I like to look over my right shoulder, you guys, and I try to look towards those left toes because for a lot of times that visual helps me to deepen. Step left foot between the hands, lunge, lift to rise, high lunge. As you continue to squeeze up through the spine, lower the back right knee, we come into the twist. Right tricep, outside edge. Okay, fingertips down. You can stay in Anjali Mudra and then lift the back knee. Pavrita, twisted, side angle, one. Inhale, let's use a lot of power in the legs. Push the floor away, two. Okay, you guys ring out your upper back. So my upper back has been hurting, right? Since we did all those scapular push-ups on Friday. So maybe feeling that release. And then plant your palms, lunge. Left leg sweeps up and back, three-legged down dog, scorpion the tail. Flip your dog up and over. You choose. Half Gomukhasana with the left arm, hand at the heart, hold the back of the head. What allows you to explore some opening, some big breath in your body. Keep your left leg lifted. Left hand plants, three-legged down dog. Nice, Didem, good. Left knee draws into your chest, fallen triangle. Right heel spins over to the left, kick the left leg out. You can do it actively or you can hold the pinky edge side. You guys could even hold the knee if you wanted to and then try to take it into open variation of this Vamatrasana. Three, push the floor, lift the hips too. Wow, you guys, super good. Bend the knee, rotate to seated. Right leg is extended out. Flex your right foot, sit tall, twist, right hand. Outside edge of left knee, bring it out. So I'm gonna choose to stay on my fingertips as you come into flash dance pose. Lift the hips, come onto the top of that shin bone, arch back. Yeah, so this is also like sometimes a nice variation of flip dog because you have one knee down, you can get a little bit more power. And then remember in flash dance, she's on the chair, the water, pours down on her, right? So kind of arch up into it. And then release, hips down to the mat. Good. Left foot plants, hip width distance apart. Marichiasana, C, right elbow outside edge of left knee. Feel both sitting bones. Check in with the obliques. Are they evenly lifting up? Check through the side ribs up into the armpits as you stretch tall. Look at your left foot. Flex the left foot, grab the pinky edge side, straighten your left leg. Okay, that's one variation. Left hand can reach back behind you for more balance. And then if you'd like to lift the right leg, adding more core. One, it's wobbly, it's shaky, keep the breath going for two. Inhale. Exhale for three, turn to the top of the mat, legs scissor together, and then bend your knees, plant the palms, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, lift, hips lift, downward facing dog. 
Okay. Last slide. There's going to be no separate like uh, back bends or nothing else. This is just straight in, straight up class, pure flow. Right leg lift. Let's go. Last round through. Right side. Big scorpion. Melt the heart, you guys. Get it while you can. Shift your energy. Step right foot forward up in between your hands. Lunge. Lift to rise. High lunge. Yep. Yeah, wow. So some of your, your right femur bones are like perfectly perpendicular to the floor. You guys have really dropped in deep today. Big back bend as you lower your back, left knee down to the mat. The reason why I want to be here, you guys, is because now if you want to try to bind, I like to take the balance out of the pose as I try to bind here. Okay, options. You do not have to bind. You can keep the hands at the heart. You can keep the back knee down. If you have the bind, you could lift the back knee. Okay, if you have the bind and you want to release your hands and shift into Ekapada Kundanyasana, Take an arm balance here. Okay, we're gonna save that one for later. <laughs> and then hands to the mat. Hmm. Low lunge, reset. Right leg sweeps, scorpion tail up and back. Open it here. Prepare, lift high under the ball of your left foot. Flip your dog, wild thing. Open. Good. push the floor, especially with your right big toe, you guys, push the floor away. Feel like you can get a little stretch to the front of that right hip. Right leg stays lifted. Plant your right palm, three-legged down dog. Inhale. Exhale, right knee in towards your chest. Fall in triangle. Left heel spins the flat. Kick the right leg underneath you. You can grab the pinky edge side of the foot and try to pull the right foot forward for a variation. Three, stay with it. Arm balance, two, help bend that right knee in as you come down to seated. Twist, okay. So hopefully gooey, hopefully stretchy here. Yep, so my left hand is on my right knee. Right fingertips are back behind you. Okay, so flash, dance pose. You push through the right fingertips. You lift that chest. Now, what if you could turn your right arm more open? Could you think someday that maybe you could arch all the way back and come into a wheel in your upper body? I'm gonna get there someday, you guys. Yeah, nice, Allie, there we go. Think of that water, open the heart, kind of pouring over you, and then come to seated. Good. Step your right foot into the mat. Marichi Asana. See if you like the bind this time. So notice that I say this time, right? If this is where you are, uh, I still get so much out of that. If you want to try the bind, you could straighten the right leg. You could tip back and float the left leg. And release, face the back of your mat. Dandasana. Inhale. Exhale, check in with your spine. Cross your ankles, plant your hands. Plank pose. Inhale. Chaturanga. Push the floor. Stay toned through the legs. Legs are active. Up dog. Hips lift. Downward facing dog. Think of this that you guys were going to slide right into home base. We're going to slide right into Shavasana as we finish this last side. Left leg lift. Three legged down dog. Bend the knee. Open the hip. Scorpion the tail. Maybe you look over. So you guys, the idea of like maybe that scorpion tail like stinging someday, like touching your seventh chakra, right? That would be like enlightenment someday. So maybe a reason to go for that, that full mudra step. 
Left foot between your hands, lunge. Lift to rise, high lunge. Strong but soft. Find some gentleness. Right? Get yourself ready, especially a lot of you to go out into the rest of your day. Get rid of anything you don't need as you lower that back right knee to the mat. Take the balance out as you lift your hips. Find your twist, find your bind. Right armpit, outside edge of left knee if you wanna help thread it through. Bind. Back knee lifts. One. Inhale. Exhale, two. Squeeze your inner thighs towards one another. Don't lose that connection. Plant the palms. Left leg lifts. Three, leg it down dog, scorpion the tail. Lift high into the ball of your right foot. Here we go, you guys, flip your dog. So get your back bend in here. Keep rotating those right fingertips open. Keep snuggling your right shoulder high onto your upper back. Push the floor. Circle it back, left leg lifts. Here we go. Inhale, lift. Exhale, left knee in towards your chest, fall and triangle, kick it underneath you, spin to the pinky edge side of your right foot. Hold the knee, straighten the leg, grab the foot, whatever you need. And now split your legs apart, open. This Vamatrasana variation, three. Use the back leg, you guys. Tone it to lift two, it's an open twist. Bend the knee, press to seated. Good, inhale. Exhale, right hand outside edge of left knee. Left fingertips back behind you. So twists are really one of the best ways to prepare your spine for back bends. Right? The reason why we have a hard time back bending is because the ribs, the ribs are stuck to your like thoracic spine. Try to twist right through there. Flash dance pose. Press down through the fingertips. Lift the hips. So I'm on my left fingertips and I'm thinking like a screw. I'm trying to rotate my bicep open and arch back until I've got the wall to kind of help me crawl down. Think like a wheel pose someday. And release hips to the mat. Left foot steps in, hip width distance apart. Find your bind or find your twist. Marichi Asana. C, right arm comes to the outside. So those of you who aren't able to bind yet, what I like to do is I actually like to get the tricep as much as I can and then take my right hand to my left hip. So can you guys see that that creates internal rotation? And as you hold your right thumb into your left hip crease, you can broaden your upper back. So that's the stage to start to begin to bind. If you're bound, straighten your left leg. Yeah, you can hold the pinky edge side of the foot, find your variation, float the leg. Three, two, one, release. Both feet are forward at the top of your mat. Dandasana, arms up, inhale. Flex your feet, grab the pinky edge sides of your feet, pause, walk your sitting bones back. Fold in, Kashimottanasana. So finishing class with a counter pose. From all those back bends, skin to muscle, muscle to bone, press the legs forward. You need to stretch the bones of your legs through the bones of your spine. We're hopefully not always doing the exact same things together, right? That doesn't mean it's always gonna be easy, doesn't mean we're always gonna like it, but that's this idea of kind of yogic perseverance. So just getting on the mat over and over again, exploring the mind. Inhale, open, half flat back. And then release. I like to shift my hips to the middle of the mat, take my feet wide and my knees wide, drop down onto elbows and just make sure that my low back is cleared meaning the tailbone stretches forward. And then as you're ready, open up. Shavasana.
I think of how often in my life, if I had two chances to do everything, right? I would do one thing, kind of just learning about it. And then the second thing I would have learned from the first and do better the second time. So it's nice sometimes in our physical bodies to explore this repeating action. And then as you're ready, you guys, deepen your breath. We'll get your fingers and toes as you stretch your arms up and over. And then you bend your knee. Roll to your right. And please press out to find seated. Hands folded in front of your heart center. Right, so if we always do everything exactly the same, every time we're gonna get the same result. So mixing it up sometimes, good for the mind, good for the body, taking your thumbs to your third eye, bow forward to seal your practice. Shy,